If the world hates you, the world gonna hate you. The world hated Jesus Christ. The world hates you because you are not from this world. He shoots you out of this world. That's why the world hates us. Because we are not from the world. We are not like the world and the people of the world. We do not follow the world. We follow the word. So it doesn't matter what they say, what they think. It's about you and God. They mock God. They go against the truth. Jesus came to give us eternal life. He was a good person. He wanted to save us and still the world hated him. The world hates the truth. The world is fake. And people of the world is fake. They don't want to hear the truth. And they don't want to be around you when you are real because you will expose their darkness so you will get hated by the world and that's good because it means that you are from God and we are not like the world we are the universe the earth the world is ruled by Satan, but the whole universe is God's. The enemy got the system, Babylon, but he don't got the nature. Satan didn't make this. God made it. He made this. So the world will hate, but the one who is inside of you is stronger than he who is in the world. You have the strength inside of God. Don't listen to what other people say of the world if they didn't find God in themselves. It's a fight against the world, against Satan against your flesh do not be a friend to the world be a rebel and the world don't like the truth because the world is fake the whole world and people are fake and when you are real they don't want to hear what's real they don't want to hear about God. They don't want to hear about Jesus. Because they rather live in their world. And do how they think, how they feel. But it's not us. It's God. His plan for us. To have a better life. And if we follow Him we will have it better, but we will suffer in this life. You will suffer in the flesh. You will change yourself for the better. And people are gonna think you are weird because you stand for something, because you stand up for God, because you don't wanna follow their wicked ways of living. You want to be a better person. You want to do what God tell you to do. He's going to put something inside of you and you're going to feel it if you are chosen. And the world don't going to understand. They want you under control inside their system. But you have to find out who you are. And God inside of you. Because God is in, in you. The church is in you. They are just people. They are not God. Who are they to tell you what to do? 
Without God, we're nothing. And the world really needs God now in this end time. But what do they do? They choose to mock God, laugh at God, go against the truth. The system can't save you. Your friends can't save you. Your money can't save you. You can't buy your soul. You can't buy a new body. You can't buy yourself into heaven. This world gonna perish. Everybody gonna die. So before you die, do you wanna save your soul? Get to know Jesus Christ. Not this world. He is not of this world. But he came to save the world. And the world are blind. They do not see because they don't have the spirit. The spirit of God. The Holy Spirit. It's a spiritual war. And you will be hated by all men for his name. Then you are loved by God in heaven. Amen. How can people hate the Bible, God, Jesus? I don't understand why the world hates the truth. How can you hate God? How can you hate Jesus? And now you see the world is fucked up and the world needs God. Nothing else can save this world. No one. You can't buy your way to heaven. Only God can save you. And that's how it is. Only God. I can't save myself. Only God can save me. It's by the power of God I can do the things I do. It's not me. In fact, we are nothing without God. We are empty. Without these clothes, we're all empty and we, 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 we want to fill up with things, with drinks, with stuff of the world. But in the end, it's just the world and we are not of the world. And as a real one, you can see what's going on in the world. That something ain't right in the world with all these people doing the wrong thing. So when you try to do the right thing and you are chosen for something, you will get misunderstood, hated. People will laugh, talk, Gaslight, slander, and do all the things they do. Look what they did to Jesus. But he was a fighter, he was strong. He had God inside. So no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue. Christ you shall condemn what can they do they can't do nothing if you have God you have everything God is stronger than all of them the Spirit of God is the strongest spirit the Holy Spirit from God nobody can stop God in your life nobody can take you down God gonna raise you up. God gonna give you the power. God gonna give you the strength.
to win all your battles in life. If you humble yourself and you pray to God, show me the way and He will help you, He will lead you. Amen. We are not of the world. We do not follow the people of the world. We do not listen to the world. We live in the world, but we are not like the world. We are not like the worldly people. We're not blind, we can see. We have the spirit, we have energy, we have true, real love, and real true love comes from Christ. He loved us like nobody else. He gave us life, power, strength. And He wants everyone to repent because Jesus saves. The world can save you. The world wants to destroy you. And these people, they protect the world. They try to fit in because they are afraid. But God didn't give us fear. Do not fear, banish fear and doubt. And remember, the Lord is with you. He who is inside is stronger than he who is in the world. We are blessed. We are strong. We are brothers and sisters in Christ and we are not of this world our family is not from this world we are from heaven we are kings and queens and don't let them bring you down don't let them stop you don't let them win because we are winners God is winning over Satan he gonna win The angels protect us against these demons. Do not be afraid of Satan. Be afraid of God. We are protected by angels. And the angels and God are going to win over Satan and his demons. 200 years ago, he win. Satan ain't shit. God is the biggest. God is the greatest. Who is like God? Who is like God? No one. God will destroy the evil ones, the wicked ones. It's game over for them. We are the chosen ones and we follow God and Jesus not Satan and the beast system. We are not of this world. We are not like the world. world. The Bible is God's word. That's why we don't fit in. People don't like you. People don't want to be around you. You don't have a place to go to sleep, to eat, even in your own home, on the street, everywhere, you don't fit in because you're not of this world. You are bigger than the world. Because you have God, you have Jesus. We are not from this world. We are not like them. We are special and unique. From the whole universe. God bless.